hello world welcome back to my channel it's your girl oh, Cycling Koshi. so guys i'm going to use a 3.0 mm hook and i'm going to use this yarn with this work you can use any yarn okay that you have but it should should not be all that bulky okay so next what i do is i make a chain depending on how um wide you want your band to be and you make a chain according to okay so I'm making just uh, some few chains to so here okay then when I'm done and I'm okay with the width I'm going to continue making the double crochet in each of the stitch holes that I have made so you make double crochet so you get to where you started from okay so double crochet double crochet double crochet okay so this is very easy to make very simple to make okay so you can use any of your favorite colors for this wig and yeah okay so after making your rubber crochet you will chain one but let me finish with this one if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe turn on your bell uh, give me a like comment below and you can check out my other videos as well okay so you chain one and you turn your work like this then you're going to make double crochet way from the back like this okay up to where you started from again okay so we are just making double crochet to get to the end you chain one you turn your work then you make double crochet like that so it is long enough to cover your waist okay okay so double crochets right so after that you chain one and you turn your work make double crochet all over again okay so the length gets to where you want it to be okay so after several rows this is what i made for my waist okay so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to join the side together using a single crochet okay so i'm just joining it at the negative side of my work so make a single crochet of course you can use your thread and needle to make to join the pieces together okay but i'm using single crochet that one to work very fine for this work Okay, so you just make your single crochet to join them. okay so after making that this is what you have here now we are going to turn our work okay so that the negative part goes inside so that the ceiling also goes inside okay so next what you are going to do is you are going to make double crochet in each of the stitch holes okay just double crochet double crochet in the stitch hole that you find there just make your double crochet okay just make double crochet and you are making it round and round and round and always end at where we started from okay so we are going to make double crochet until it is um our work piece is long enough so let's just put our indicator there so that we will not get confused when we're about to end our work okay so let me just put my indicator here okay right 
so this is where we are going to end our work but you go round and round and round until it is long enough to cover your tie okay so let's make the double crochets okay so after several rows this is what i'm having okay now with the next phase what you do is you're going to make meshes okay and with the meshes what i'll do is i'll depending on how big you want your meshes to be you chain according to okay so with this one i'm chaining 20 If you chain 15, it's going to be smaller than what I'm going to get here. And if you chain 20, so depends on how big you want your uh, meshes to be. So I'm chaining 20. Then I'm going to skip. So I'm going to skip 14. And in the 15th stitch hole, I'm making my double crochet. So you yarn over and you make your double crochet okay so this is our first mesh you chain 20 you skip 14 so in the 15th stitch hole you make your double crochet okay so you can see that our meshes are wide enough we do the same thing till you get to where we started from so chaining of 20, skipping of 14, and making double crochet in the 15th stitch hole. Okay, so let's do that so we get to where we started from. So when you get to um, the first row, this is what we have. Now let's move on to the next row. You chain your 20, then in the mesh that you've already created, you make your double crochet. Okay, so you get something like this. Then you chain 20, then in that mesh, the next mesh, you make your double crochet like that okay okay let's make a double crochet all right so that's what we are going to do throughout till we get to the fifth row okay to the fourth or to the fifth Rule, depending on how long you want your skirt to be okay so if you have longer legs you are definitely going to need like five foot so let's um put a uh, indicator here so that as you go round and round you will not get confused okay so you keep on making your chains and making your double crochets okay so on the fourth rule this is what i'm getting yeah, you, of course, you can continue to make five rows of it. Now, I'm going to repeat the double crochets again for my work. And this stage, what I'm going to do is I'm always going to skip one stitch hole. Okay, so you yarn over and you make your double crochet in the first stitch hole. You yarn over, make a double crochet into the third stitch hole so you are, skip, you are skipping the second stitch hole okay 
you skip the next one you go to the next stitch hole then you make your double crochet okay we are skipping because remember that the change that we did was 20 and the normal um double crochets that we had was 15 15 15 okay so we need to skip otherwise your um after making this one that part of your work is going to be a little bit bigger than the initial one that you started with okay so we always skip one stitch hole and make a double crochet okay so let's continue with it you are making double crochet throughout in the stitch holes that we are finding until we get to where our starting point is okay and i'm going to make um double crochets round and round for 10 rows okay from 8 to 10 rows you are good to go okay so the next row what i did was um i make double crochets without skipping so the, it's only the first row that you skip the stitch holes but if the second one you're not going to skip any stitch hole you just continue making your normal double crochet in each of the stitch holes okay so it's the same with the third row the fourth row feet and to the tenth row okay so from 8 to 10 we are okay with this part too okay so after the 10th row this is what i have now i'm going to repeat the meshes again then i'll repeat the um, double crochets again and my work will be complete this is very simple to make okay so after repeating all the rules this what i have okay the meshes are popping up very nice isn't this so beautiful and simple to me for this summer i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial guys so i'll see you in my next video bye